welcome to this lecture in the last lecture we have already worked upon returning html markup as the http response in order to create a form now the next method is html forms with django templates so let's get started with this first of all we are required to create a template let's say we are creating a template with the name form so we have a file called as form.html now we are going to create a simple form in this so let's have the html template for simplicity i am removing this inside the body you need form tag where action needs to be removed and you can put here method attribute method and for now you can consider the method as post method and now you can create your very simple form let's say you want first of all name so write name and you can have input type equals to text and have a name attribute where you can specify the name of your text box right and the next one now is let's consider that we have an email we can use input type equals to email and name can be email next one let's say we consider password password and use input input type equals to password and name let it be password and we can also include one submit button in order to get a response that that our form has been submitted successfully so let's create a button as well input type equals to submit and we can have the value of the submit button as submit since our form is ready so now we can create a function so the name i'll take as let's say template form let's pass the parameter as request right now within this we have to first of all check the condition that if your request dot method your request dot method is a post method then it should grab the values or fetch the values from the text boxes for this we'll be creating three variables name equals to request dot post dot get function and the name of our first text box is name then moving on to the next one we have email where we will again fetch the value from this text box post.get function and the name is email the next one is password request dot post dot get function and fetch the value from the password so the name of the text box password is password right now you can if you want you can validate your form as well like uh, without showing any kind of error so what kind of logic we are creating right now we want that the user should be able to see their form being submitted like you really don't have to show the values on the web page that is totally up to you it depends on the task that has been assigned to you so right now what we will be doing we are simply going to check that if all of these fields are filled so none of these fields means none of these text boxes should be left empty if any one is empty then form will not be submitted so let's say i'm going to create a very simple condition as if name and email and password so means that if all of these are filled then you can simply return an http response you can simply return the values which are filled by you but i am right now simply returning an http response as form submitted successfully right so form submitted successfully now the point is that how your form will be rendered 
as you can see that right now you're using the post method now after this if you want to render your form you can either use another if condition by using if request dot method is a get method but there's no need to do that you can simply come out of your if statement and use a render statement so that render statement automatically means that you simply want to you can use a return statement you simply want to render your form using the get method so pass request parameter and the name of our form is form.html we are almost ready so let's create a url we'll be using path and let's say that i'll be using template form as my url and the function that we need to call is template form great so uh, let's check if there are any errors okay there doesn't seem to be any error at this point let's check the result so we need to go to template form right so we got a form like it's not looking very nice at this point but you can use break tags for this form if you want to show every text box in the next line okay anyways but i am showing it this way for now right so uh, let me click on the submit button you can see that there is an error forbidden 403 CSRF verification failed request aborted. As discussed in the previous lecture, it is important for us to use the CSRF token within our form. But there is also one line written that more information is available with debug equals to true. So if you want to get some more technical details, it's better if you make your settings.py inside settings.py you can just put a true value inside the debug why we are putting a true value because it will help you know more technical details regarding what exactly happened so let me click on submit so this is what it is saying it's saying that reason given for failure that csrf token is missing it's actually very easy to use CSRF token within your template form because you don't have to use any hidden field right now. We will be using it as a template tag. For this, you have to use percentage symbols and write CSRF underscore token. Okay, so I have written CSRF underscore token here. Now, then let's check the result once again. So let's render you click on submit okay so it means that now there is no such error regarding csrf it means that let's fill out the details i'll write my name then i'll write my email i'll be using this email let me uh, click on submit so right now it won't do anything because we have already created one condition that if name email and password so means all of these three fields need to be filled out so let's once again create the values so i need to use the password let's say i'm using uh, one two three when i click on submit you are able to get this message form submitted successfully alternatively you can also show the submitted values on your web page in order to get a better understanding so we have successfully implemented HTML forms with Django templates. Hope you enjoyed this lecture. In the upcoming lecture, we will implement forms using Django forms.